I know a lot of us are looking for a good uh, mirror solution for when we go doorless. Uh, so what I'm doing today is something I found online. Uh, but as you can see, I have a set of EAG mirrors or doors on the Jeep uh, that come with these mirrors. Uh, these mirrors are were not manufactured correctly. Uh, they show too much of the side of the Jeep and don't show enough of the road. Uh, EAG is aware of it and replacement mirrors are coming in. But even so, I've noticed that these uh, mirrors tend to drop so the bottom pushes down so you see more of the uh, ground and <coughs> Uh, it's more of a concave view, which I don't really love on the main mirror. So uh, I'm going to be taking these off and actually using a uh, the double take mirror uh, from doubletakemirror.com. Uh, but prior to doing that, uh, I have to install a uh, ram mount, a ball mount. So this is the uh, the piece I have. It's uh, the ram mount R A M B three six seven U. It comes with three bolts. Uh, this was the size of this one. I've cut this down to uh, one and three quarter inches, uh, which is going to work well where it needs to be. And then it comes with this ball mount. Uh, this part right up here uh, was silver. I have since painted or spray painted that uh, black to match the Jeep. This is all gonna be mounted right in here. I've already loosened this. You take this uh, cowl bolt out, you set your ram mount up for, uh, with the ball, the uh, bolt through it, and then I've spray painted a uh, washer that's black. And this then gets inserted into the screw hole. And this bolt is an M10 1.5 uh, thread pitch. And again, it's about one and three quarter inches uh, long. And then you just tighten it down to the Jeep. And that's tight. Uh, initially, this original size bolt, I think it was two and two quarters, two and a quarter inches. Um, was too long so what it was doing is it, as you were screwing it in it was pushing this whole cowl out, out or away from the Jeep so it needed to shorten that by about half an inch just cut that with a Dremel uh, now I have that uh, that affixed here so we have the Ram ball mount installed on the uh, Wrangler it's on there very solidly um, here is the uh, the Ram mount that we're going to be installing. This is the uh, two inch mount, I believe. Uh, I'm going to be using a longer mount on the passenger side uh, because I think we need a little more reach uh, to get around the uh, A pillar. Uh, so this is a shorter one and uh, that should work well. And then we got the uh, double take mirrors uh, in today uh, in the mail. I have a second one, but can't install it obviously because I don't have a ball mount or the, uh, or the ram mount. Uh, yet, uh, but this is their, I believe this is the Enduro mirror, it's the uh, round style. I thought this would uh, go better uh, in keeping with the uh, history of the Jeep and just aesthetically look uh, look better than their Adventure mirror, which is more of a, uh, uh, you know, multi-sided type of mirror. It's not round, uh, more of a European type of look. So that's what I chose. Uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, just uh, install this onto the onto the Jeep. It's just one side that clips on. The mirror will go into here. This simply slides in and then you, you turn it to secure it. And it seems to be pretty, pretty solidly installed on the Jeep. That's really not not going to go anywhere. Here's the view you get from the uh, the driver's seat, looking at the mirror. 
It is a smaller mirror than what comes with the uh, EAG tube doors. I think it's going to work well. It keeps us legal. Uh, and uh, we'll have to see what type of vibration we get uh, on the highway. We haven't driven with them yet. Uh, but we will shortly and can report back. But um, overall, from this first install, I think it's going to work well for what we're looking to do. Um, just one other point of note, at least with the EAG doors, uh, with the, uh, the strap there that uh, holds the doors from swinging all the way open, there's no contacting the mirror. So... Uh, if the straps were off, sure, this would uh, the the door would extend all the way up to the uh, the front and perhaps make contact with either the mirror if it's low enough or with the um, with the mount before hitting the the uh, the fender in the front. So I like the looks. I think it's going to really work well for us, and I think even though they're smaller than the EAG mirrors. Uh, the visibility uh, that we're going to get is going to work uh, well for us because the EAG mirror, this was one of the lots uh, that were produced that uh, do not uh, extend far enough out to the left to give you a clear view of what's behind. So uh, I do have a, a new mirror coming from AEG or EAG, um, has those on order but haven't been received yet. So I'll be getting that mirror in and can always switch over. But the good thing about this is that the uh, these tube doors will fit, all four of them will fit in the back while using this uh, diabolical slipstream. So I can bring the doors uh, anywhere I want, uh, just in the back, and, and then have the mirrors uh, anywhere in the vehicle to uh, mount on. So I can go doors on or doors off, tube doors on or, uh, or doors off uh, any time uh, I want and have the uh, doors with me if we're taking a trip or, or doing whatever. So that's certainly a positive as well. So that's it from now. for now. Uh, this is what the, uh, the mirrors look like, and uh, we will shortly have uh, some other installs going on as we have other boxes that will soon be arriving. Thanks for watching.